If you are a fan of electric cars, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news. Today's show featured a major unveiling of a new Tesla product, along with updates on the Tesla Semi in full self-driving beta. Cybertruck production figures were also revealed. An unofficial debut of the latest Tesla creation, speculated to be the performance variant of the new Model 3, took place at a private event in California on April 1st. Although internally referred to as the Highland Refresh, Tesla has not officially endorsed this name. However, for consistency, it's being used for now. While it's uncertain whether the new Model 3 variant will officially be named Ludicrous, it fits the acceleration scale, one notch below Plaid, in line with Model S and X naming conventions. This new variant aims to distinguish itself from the previous performance Model 3, which mainly differed in suspension and brakes. Unlike its predecessor, the Ludicrous Model 3 features an upgraded powertrain, lower stance, exclusive rims, unique front and rear bumper designs, and a sportier interior with specially designed seats. Though rumors suggest a dual-motor setup, it's confirmed that it won't have the tri-motor configuration seen in the Cybertruck or Model S Plaid. Lars Morvey, Tesla's lead engineer, confirmed during an episode of Jay Leno's Garage featuring the Model 3 Highland that accommodating a triple-engine setup in the Model 3 would be challenging due to space constraints. He emphasized Tesla's unwavering commitment to efficiency, stating that creating a new rear casting for the mainstream Model 3 to enhance performance doesn't align with their priority of maximizing efficiency. While such modifications are feasible for niche products like the Model S and Cybertruck, the Model 3 is designed to achieve more with less. However, expectations are high for the Model 3 Ludicrous variant, which is anticipated to feature more powerful permanent magnet motors in the front and rear, potentially delivering up to 600 horsepower at the wheels and achieving a sub 3 second 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time. This upgrade could generate positive interest and boost sales for Tesla amid ongoing challenges. Additionally, there's renewed discussion within Tesla about the electric semi, its largest product yet, which has remained enigmatic since its initial release to PepsiCo in December 2022. The chief engineer of the Tesla Semi, Dan Priestley, recently disclosed that the company has utilized the Semi to transport over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to Fremont, California. These trucks follow the same route and carry the same load as diesel trucks, but operate at significantly lower costs. Though Priestley didn't specify the number of semis involved or the duration of this operation, rough estimates suggest around 440 loaded trips from Nevada to Fremont. Notably, this route spans about 260 miles and includes mountainous terrain, showcasing the semi's reliability and capability. This update coincides with the EPA's adjustment of efficiency standards for heavy-duty trucks, effective from the 2027 model year, aimed at reducing carbon emissions by 1 billion tons. This regulatory shift provides a timeline for the Tesla Semi's full-scale production to meet the rising demand for zero-emission options in the trucking industry. Additionally, Tesla's full self-driving beta program has concluded after over three years of real-world testing, transitioning to full self-driving supervised, denoted by supervised in brackets. With the latest upgrade to version 12, Tesla introduces a comprehensive neural network-powered software stack, aiming to make their product reliable for all customers not just those in the beta testing phase. The new software, labeled as Full Self-Driving Supervised, enables Tesla vehicles to perform various tasks under your supervision, including lane changes, following navigation routes, maneuvering around obstacles, and making turns. However, it emphasizes the need for caution and attentiveness, clarifying that the vehicle is not autonomous, and drivers should not become complacent. Simultaneously, Elon Musk has directed all Tesla delivery staff to provide a full self-driving test drive to every new owner, although this initiative might lengthen the delivery process. Moreover, Tesla offers a free one-month trial of full self-driving for eligible vehicles, excluding some older models lacking necessary hardware upgrades. This marks Tesla's most significant effort yet to promote full self-driving adoption, which historically hasn't been widely popular among consumers, with perhaps only around 20% opting for it, especially as Tesla's customer base has grown. Nonetheless, Tesla's recent push indicates a commitment to increasing full self-driving usage. In the coming month, we anticipate seeing a wealth of data that will provide a clearer understanding of the software's performance in real-world scenarios. Over the past week, Tesla has been vigorously striving to conclude the first quarter with a surge in Cybertruck deliveries. The lots at Giga Texas have been inundated with newly manufactured Cybertrucks en route for delivery. 
Joe TM, an operator at the Gigafactory, estimated a weekly production rate of between 900 and 1,000 Cybertrucks. This figure aligns with a recent announcement from the official Cybertruck account on X, revealing that GigaTexas was churning out 1,000 Cybertrucks worth of 4,680 battery cells per week as of March 20. This production pace is remarkable for a relatively new product with a distinct manufacturing process compared to Tesla's previous endeavors. It represents approximately one quarter of the volume forecasted by Elon Musk in October 2023 who aimed for an annual production of 200,000 Cybertrucks. If all progresses as anticipated, Giga Texas could ramp up its output to 250,000 Cybertrucks annually by 2025. Given this trajectory, it wouldn't be surprising if the factory achieves a production rate of around 4,000 Cybertrucks per week by year-end. Therefore, the current rarity of the Cybertruck may soon diminish as production scales up. In conclusion, Tesla's ongoing efforts to refine their full self-driving software and ramp up Cybertruck production signify significant milestones for the company. With promising results expected in the near future, the performance of the software and real-world conditions will be closely scrutinized. Meanwhile, the surge in Cybertruck deliveries, driven by the impressive output at Giga Texas, foreshadows a future where these vehicles become more commonplace. As Tesla continues to push boundaries in automotive technology and manufacturing, it's clear that they are poised for continued growth and innovation in the electric vehicle market. If you are a fan of electric cars, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news.